What about you, Sophia? Um, okay, so currently single. Um, longest relationship, like official relationship, was three months. Um, yeah, that was really like my only like real relationship that I consider because I had another one, but it was like like a week of being official and from like first day to break up like three weeks. So it was really like nothing. So my in the pre-show information you provided, you're, my understand, you're a Christian, correct? Yes. And you're also waiting for marriage, is that correct? Yes. And you're a virgin? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, okay. like, re, what is it called? Re Born dead, again? Whatever, yes. So you, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, I is wanted that a to, thing? Can you be a born again virgin? Well, okay, so I messed up. And um, and now I regret it, and so n I'm not gonna mess up again because okay. I have done that mistake once already. Sex I'm, is a mistake. For me, it was. I, I regret it. So um, and I I think so. I'm a Christian, so I base um, my worldview. I have a biblical worldview, so I believe that sex was intended mm -hmm. for one man and one woman, husband and a wife. Um, but I also I wanted to wait until marriage before I slept with my ex. Um, and so I, I do regret it, but because I made that mistake once already, now I'm even more determined to not make that same mistake again. Because, and this is like an advice that I would give to um, younger women or women my age, whatever, who uh, who haven't, uh, who are who are virgins and haven't had sex yet, and or maybe on the fence about it or struggling, whatever. Um, I would say that for me, waiting until marriage, it would have been really difficult, but it would have been so worth it, so. And so you just had that one guy? Yes. Okay, gotcha. So, let's like see. I've like had like stuff in high school, but. Not all the way? Not, yeah, no. Okay, um, you said your current relationship situation is complicated, LOL. <laughs> um, that's sadly kind of over. This is, this is like very like fresh, so it's uh, it's like, kind of sad but um so okay so I was talking to someone that I have known for five years um it's it's complicated because of like the little details like when I first met him he was married and then his wife just decided uh that she just wanted a divorce like she um they were both like Christian when they got married but she left the faith left the church left him said it's been fun but I'm ready to move on with my life um and then I found out about their divorce like January 2022. So then when I like we were already friends, but then we started talking more and I have liked him like before I even like knew what he looked like. I like <laughs> I overheard a conversation that he was having at our university we went to uh, the same school and um, and I didn't like look around to see who it was and I regret it. I'm like, who was that guy? I'm never gonna, I thought I was never gonna like see him again cause I thought like, oh, our university is so big but I ended up, di I didn't meet him and we did become friends. And then I found out he was married. Not like he wasn't wearing the ring. I just didn't put two and two together. Um, but then immediately like shut down all my feelings for him. And then we were just friends for, for a while. And then there was like at one point, it was like fall 2020 where we were um, talking on the phone. Um, I was going through a rough time and um, and also I was like still hung up over, hung hung up over my ex. Yeah. Um, Wait, can I just jump in here really quick? So yeah, uh, can I just read this to you what you wrote to us, and then maybe that'll help guide the conversation sure. a little bit. So you said, I know I want to marry my best friend. Oh, hold on. Okay, well, there's a good, good time to interrupt you. I guess. Nine dollars. There are multiple court settlements for purposeful transmissions of herpes filth of one million dollars wow. or more. For the panel one by one, would you date a person with herpes? Wait. And don't say no to this answer, then turn around and say your body count doesn't matter. Wait, uh, Jay Butler, you, just, you asked this in your previous, and we just, I don't know if you're just tuning back in, but uh, we, we just uh, went around the table on this? Would you date a person with, wait, hold on. Did he ask, would you sleep with a person? And then... He said date. The well, the, 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 the previous one, he says, would you sleep with someone who had genital herpes? And then the next, this one is, would you date? I think he added the last part where he says, don't say you wouldn't date them and then say body count doesn't matter. I think he that's included a, that's that. That's actually very, that's a good argument. He included that, yeah. 
I don't. Because like people, people who like, oh, body count doesn't matter. Would you be so quick to defend? Yeah. And then they'd be like, I wouldn't date someone with herpes, herpes, but it's like they got herpes they because got it, of their yeah. body count most likely. So. Well, you know what their rebuttal would be though? Well, you can get herpes the first time you ever have sex. True, but what was the body count of the other person that they had sex with? Because usually it's because they've had, had like 20 partners and then mm -hmm. when you have sex with them, you've had sex with their right. 20 partners and then you get their herpes. And I, I'm, I'm not saying that that's like what I, that was just, yeah. I'm, uh, what's it called? That's the argument that they would make, mm -hmm. but I think it's a poor argument because, like, yeah, typically the first time you have sex, like, more likely you're not likely to get herpes under those circumstances. Your risk of getting herpes increases the more sexual partners you've had. So, um, good times. <laughs> so, uh, Butler, do you want you want us to go around again, but this time, date a per? Okay, really quick. Uh, would you instead of would you sleep with a person who has herpes? Would you date a person who has herpes? Just yes or no. Mm. I don't know. It's no. kind of the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Say it's the same thing. I mean, if you wouldn't sleep with them, why date them? No. It, also, yeah. I'm Here, not going to sleep with someone Is it the same dating, answer? So. <laughs> the answer you gave before, is it yes. the same answer for not everybody? Not for me, it would be different. Well, because for me, it was like the first scenario, would I sleep with them? Well, the first, I mean, like the first standard is that we're in a committed relationship. Raven oh. DT donated $100. Remember, when you have sex, you are also having sex with all of their past partners. Um, not literally. <laughs> I'm just saying if they carried it over, um, it to you. Technically, Raven DT. Uh, there is something yeah. to be said there, though, when it comes to potential STD risk. When it comes to, I don't know, like what's this soul tie stuff? It's your know, exposure to all of the STDs. Like, don't you guys remember in health class when they showed you just because you are losing your virginity and having sex with one person, they have had right. sex with two yeah. people. Yeah. That person they had sex with had sex with a hundred. So then you're actually having sex with a hundred and five sure. people. Got yeah. it. Well, let's come back to you, Sophia. So I was, uh, I'm I was not, uh, okay. So I'm not going to make this like too long, but yes. Oh Well, he, I was just going to read it to you. So okay. you said you want to marry well, your best friend. I did want to marry him. Yeah. But and not, he was oh, my best friend. Not anymore though. No. Okay. So, so anyway, so when we were getting like kind of close, like on the phone, um, I, then I like backed away because he was still married, but then I found out that he was divorced and then we started talking more frequently. So like I said, I had liked him from the beginning, shut my, like completely shut those feelings down. But then I started to like him again. Didn't think that he liked me that way, but then I found out he does, but then he wasn't ready for a relationship. So we were kind of like for almost two years now, we had been in this um, like, like emotionally, it's like we're dating, but we're not officially dating, but we're definitely more than friends. Um, for certain periods of time, like we'd be talking on the phone um, like for hours and several times a week. Um, and then for uh, several months, he'd just kind of disappear. And, uh, and as of recently, um, so I had just moved to California last month, like maybe like six weeks ago, a little right. over six weeks ago. And, um, and the last time I saw him, the last time I spoke to him really was um, right before I left. I went to visit him. That was my first stop on my way. I, I drove. Um, and he hasn't called or texted me once to check up on me, see how I was doing. And that really hurt. And there's just nothing left there anymore. Like it's nothing that I can do because I'm the one reaching out to him and he doesn't respond. Um, he doesn't call, he doesn't take my calls or text back or give me a call back or anything. And, um, and I let him know like how hurtful that was like, hey, like I'm essentially like all on my own here. Like I didn't really know anyone when I moved here. And Did I you could move just for use him? the- You moved here for him? No, no, he's back in Virginia. Oh. So I moved away, but also Wait, but it's hurtful. for my job. It's hurtful. It's, I moved for my job, but it's like a temporary contract. So I only here until this school year. And then I plan to move back to Virginia. And also, it's not like we're in a relationship because he said, I, I very much wanted a relationship. Like I wanted to marry him, but he said he wasn't ready for a relationship. And he kept saying that like, I shouldn't base my life decisions based off of, like I said, well, I'm going to, I'm going to wait until you know whether you're ready or not. Like, that's how much I like this guy. Um, and he said, well, no, don't base your decisions off of that. Like he was like trying to encourage me to like date other people at the same time. Like he also has uh, feelings for, well, he says he's like, so like uh, emotionless and doesn't have feelings, whatever. But then he did want to like be with me at one point. Like he agreed, he agreed to go on a date. But then, like, I know how it sounds, but he agreed to go on a date. And then it, he, it evolved from, he was saying, like, last summer, he said he doesn't think that he's capable of a healthy relationship. But I think a lot of that has to do with 
like the hurt from the divorce and then it went from that to okay now i just need because he is a christian i just need to figure out if it's if it would be morally right for me to to remarry because he's already been married and he's divorced and also he's like christian leaning catholic and so am uh, i yeah, I was gonna so ask the catholic, catholic church yeah they're very strict on divorce well he's divorced well, Aren't they more yes. strict on the divorce thing well, than the yes, remarry thing? Yes, but but so in America, like if one person wants to get divorced, there's really nothing you can do. It's just sure. a matter of time, and so okay. that's the position that he was in. Like he tried to work it out, and there was just nothing that he like he couldn't sure. convince her otherwise. So what? now the question is, um, like like biblically, um, like morally, would it be right for him to remarry, or would that be a sin if he remarried? Um, and the only okay. way he could do that is if he got his first marriage annulled. Okay, so there's a lot there. There's a lot yes. there. Um, <laughs> For sure. So, question. You, when you met him and you were talking with him, he was married at that point because you said you guys were talking for two years. Well, we were we were friends, but we were mostly just friends through mutual friends. So every time I'd see him, it would be like in a group setting. Well, but were, was he still married when it seemed like your interaction started veering into a romantic realm instead of a friendship realm a little like me on my my part i felt i felt you, an emotional you attraction were having there, but, feelings but for I, a married man wait wait i i did but that's when i took a step back and that's i stopped Christian talking to him on the phone you. well i mean but that's when i stepped back you're lusting after a married man i know that's why i took a step back because i realized that wasn't and you're, good. you're still pursuing him romantically no, no no but okay so that was that was fall 2020. I, we were talking on the phone and I realized that, oh, I'm starting to catch feelings for him. And then I took a step back and I did not call him on the phone. He actually asked, like I was going through a really rough time with like my depression and everything. And he asked if I wanted to get lunch. And I said, no. And I, I did, I wanted to get lunch with him, but I knew that that's not a good idea. And then when I saw him like, Okay, so then, so the, okay, so timeline. Okay, so that was fall 2020. That was fall 2020, sure. right? Okay. Then yeah, I got over yeah. those feelings because I didn't. Over the feelings. Because I took a step back. I didn't talk to him for a she long took time. Took a step back. She yes. did take a step and back. Then folks. I found out a step that back he was, was taken. <laughs> when I found out that he was divorced. <laughs> Divorce happened. That's when that like, like, and I asked him about it, like what she happened, happened. Yeah. and um. It and was you, wasn't it? You <laughs> no. were the poison apple. <laughs> okay, that's not what that happened. led to his um, imminent divorce. You. Right? Am I, <laughs> I, I saw his wife, now ex-wife, at a coffee shop. I one time I never met her, but I yeah. recognized her from pictures. Did you apologize? How I did dare not. You? How I dare I didn't even you go up to her because I didn't want to cause problems for them, even you, though there was nothing between us. Wow. <laughs> I, th I thought about it, record? but no. I wanted to go up to her and be like, "Hey, I'm friends with your husband," and I was like, "No, that's a bad hey, idea. I'm not gonna I'm, do that." I'm the woman. But we've only hung out in group settings. Hi, I'm the woman who no, wanted to steal your husband <laughs> from she's you. She's living in LA now, and she's like definitely not living as a Christian. Like she just, she was just like, "I'm done. Like it's been nice, but I want a divorce now. I want to." Sophia. Move on with my life. It wasn't, okay. Okay, whatever. So, <laughs> how old is this guy? Well, okay. He's, uh, I'm, so I'm 24, he's 26. Okay. He was older than me. It's not a big age. Okay. How much did no. he tell you about his problems with his marriage? Person. Um, what do you mean? Like, I know. Like, did he tell you about the arguments and fights they got into and private things about their marriage? <laughs> when I asked, question. but I don't really. You asked? This is um, like, well, I asked like general, cause like, okay, I want to know, you know, like what happened. <laughs> Send the nuke. <laughs> well, I think it's important, <laughs> but don't you guys think like it's important to know like if like a man got a divorce, like what happened? Like, you know, what led up to after that? After the divorce. After like, the divorce. But, but not man during between the himself marriage. and no, God. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. During the marriage. No, no, no. Okay. During the marriage. I didn't know. Actually, whenever I would ask him sometimes like. Like how's like because we'd be like talking just as friends and I'd be like how's your wife and I never met her I wanted to meet her but 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 then Fun. but then we, listen listen no because I I'm also like a very outgoing person I'm very I'm, Christian hold on hold on no no, no. I'm I'm a very outgoing like <laughs> you guys are like spinning this completely the wrong way I'm just a very outgoing person so like we'd meet in like group settings and I'd be like hey how are you doing how's your wife you know whatever just being friendly wait Is this like Judas? but then Is this Judas? but no it's just you like a, a simple like, like hey how are you really you know yeah. and also I was just like well. I was like, when can I meet your wife? Because Sophia. What? Well, because because it was well because it was weird to me that I'm friends with him and I've never because I have married friends and I'm friends with both of them and that's fine. But with but you him, had romantic feelings for yeah, no, but yeah, I completely at yeah. first and then yeah. but then that was over. I even remember like sometimes we'd like hang out and I remember thinking like, thank God he's not my husband. So like no, those those romantic <laughs> feelings were like like buried. But clearly they they were never buried if well, you considered being marrying him after he had. And then they got on 
buried. So but then they were never buried. <laughs> okay, you, you okay had but them I didn't time. have anything to do with it. When he like brought up like any like frustration or anything that he had in his marriage, I immediately like Stop I didn't it. ask any more questions. Get some help. <laughs> <laughs> I did I, the right qu- thing. Question, question, question. So you guys are taking this what all was the, the wrong way. Like you, you were kind of semi quasi involved with this guy for what? Two no, or three like, years? No. The only time we would hang out was, would be in group settings. And then when I was going through a really hard time, then we'd like talk on the phone, like one-on-one. And then that led to me having feelings. And then immediately I took a step back. I was no, no, like, no, nope. but okay. He got divorced. Right. But then there was a, after the divorce, you were pursuing him, correct? At, only after the divorce. And, but he would, he, and I even, I did asked, he reciprocate the romantic what feelings? Happened? Yes. Okay. After the divorce. But you're saying that he, you go, you'll uh, text him and call him and he just doesn't respond. Like, yes. Right. So, as of, but like you'll send one ago. text and he doesn't respond or, you, or you'll send like <laughs> seven. He doesn't respond. You'll call him. He doesn't respond. What, what's the degree to which are you a because, scammer? Like when, no, because some women will be like, he never texted me. And the woman didn't even, she never even sent a text either. Oh, no, I, I text him. Like, or so how I many, don't anymore, how many, but. What, what color is the text? Green, blue, usually? Is it? No, it's, it's blue. It's blue. How many blue? Quite a lot. It didn't start off that way. How many blue without a response? Well, <laughs> because he, like, I would text him, like, every day, and then he wouldn't, he responded, like, three times. And that can, was just like. Show, do you have your phone on you? No, I don't. Okay. I was and I, I delete the messages. Oh, okay. Yeah. Get rid of the evidence. Because I was evidence. like, I'm, no, I'm evidence. over. <laughs> so how many... It was never an issue in the past. How many like, blue, blue texts? 10? A lot. 10 like, unresponded, 20? Mm, how many oh, blue texts? Oh, yeah, like a lot. How many, how many, how many? Give me a number. He wants a number. I don't know the number. Is it 30? 30 plus unresponded? You have to scroll a up lot, to yes. see the top. Okay. Yes. There but it wouldn't, be like one, yeah, yeah, yeah. it wouldn't be like all at once. Sophia, Sophia, you got to have dignity. Like three, like if if it's three. No, but it wouldn't be all at once. It would just be like like every day or, you know. And also because... For the past six weeks, that's how it's been. Yo, this is some intervention shit. Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> that's why text. I cut things off. Te- even like if he, two, I, no, that, I'm that done wasn't after two. The biggest yeah. red flag yeah. is you. that he that's was you. married and then just like. Wait, how many phone no, calls? No, not right. How many I mean, phone not calls? Not right away. You A lot. I, some, because you I'm in trouble sometimes and I trouble. need help. Yeah, like I'm here. Like, this all motherfucker's by in Virginia. What's he going to do for you? Send me money and then I'll repay him. I I literally have run out of money multiple times and I had to ask my friends to loan me money and then I always pay them back. Don't I literally, me. like, I don't have money for gas and food because my job doesn't pay me enough. It's tough out here in California. Ain't that the truth? Thank you. But, so my question, my question is when you were going through these tough times, you had no other friends that you could have reached out to? Like some girlfriends or something that you know? No, I, I, I did, me? but... I did, but I feel bad because I know that like I have a lot of friends who also like don't make a lot of money, and I feel bad asking from them. And he works as an engineer, and also we are really close, so we are like our relationship, is, like our friendship, is where I I oh. can ask him for. When did I mean, you get we were divorced? really close, and so like close, yeah. he's somebody <laughs> that close. I can I can I very close can tell all <laughs> my tell. problems to all the problems, and, <laughs> and like he knows about like everything going on in my life, and so if I'm in trouble and like need like help to pay for gas or food, whatever, then I can ask him for yeah. money, um, and I do always like pay it back, and I know that it's not going to be hurting him financially because he's an not engineer and he makes a lot of money and he has engineer. a lot saved up. And versus, like, I have a friend um, who she has, is she has a friend. In the, he always sends me money when I when so I, I have a question. He works wait, wait, wait. He's national guard. He's army national guard it. on the border. He doesn't make a lot of money, so I feel bad asking from like my friends who I know. Don't Do you have only a lot have guy friends then, or something? No. <laughs> I have a diagnosis here. I have a diagnosis. I can I can kind of think why he stopped responding to you. You kept sure. hitting him up for money. No, I not just. I'm money. cutting a. No. Somebody's asking me no, for money. No, and I, I repaid him for oh, everything. You, you'd repay him? Yeah, even though I'm struggling financially, I sent him $950 because I repaid him for like the last one he sent me. And then also like he paid for my, um, to get my uh, open water scuba certification because this was like last summer. Why do you need that shit, son? Because he was You're doing struggling. it for work. You're struggling <laughs> for money. That was last summer. Let me become that, a scuba That's scoop. why, <laughs> <laughs> that was before I moved this to California. This is a priority. Keep up. Huge priority. <laughs> I'm, I'm, in, I'm indigent. That was last summer. The, the, that was last summer, and I also couldn't homeless, afford it. That's, that's the why first he, thing homeless people 
go for toilet. <laughs> what? I just want Someone's to homeless. a scuba I need to get my fucking <laughs> scuba that was shit last checked summer. out. Let that me get some oxygen I tanks. Here. I need some oxygen <laughs> not tanks. Not this I'm summer. Let me go get some fucking stocked up on my oxygen tanks. Okay, that's not what happened. I'm living in a cardboard box. Let me get the fucking <laughs> oxygen tanks, huh? Wait, Carbon I have- box. I live in my car. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but no, that was last summer, and uh, and he he was getting his open water scuba, and I said I wanted to get mine, but I didn't have the money, and so he paid for me. And I said I will repay you, and it's been like a year, so I'm like I said I would repay him, so it's time. So even though I'm struggling, I and also because of like the situation, like he's not texting me, whatever. So I was just like, okay, you know what? I just want to pay everything back, and then like. So are you guys done? Good. Are you guys done seeing each other? I mean. I think so. I mean, there's nothing. Well, yeah, he's there. not. He's there's not responding not, to you, right? There's not any friendship. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, but it's over. Can I add something? Like, if you're spamming some someone, and they're not responding, like, I don't like. I don't know. I'm. What I'm trying to say is, like, if you want him, you have to like cut things off or just like ghost him because then he'll come back to you. Like, mm. I don't think this I is a healthy like, relationship. I don't know. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think that yeah. is not. When did he get divorced? Though. What, did when did he get divorced? Uh they separated uh spring 2021 um and then i don't know when the divorce became official so you don't even know if they're technically divorced no 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 they are because at, when in january because so he told you 2020 that, yes tw- uh spring 2021 i know that they separated i didn't ask him when the uh, then when the divorce became official but in january 2022 so so like almost a year later i asked him and he said yes they were by then divorced so I think what the fuck <laughs> you said earlier that you were saying the reason he didn't want to pursue a relationship with you is because he struggled with the idea of because um, he's Catholic. So he, he had a divorce and that that wasn't he didn't feel comfortable marrying again. But like That's my reason. question is, how how did you yeah. jump from not even in a relationship with him to asking him to marry you after he just got oh, out of divorce? We, like. When not af- not right after he got af- out of the doors. No, no. It started with, um, <laughs> actually, when I, I did not think that he liked me that way. But when I found mm-hmm. out that he got a divorce, I was a lot closer with my other friends from that group, guy friends, because they were single. Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to ignore what you're doing there sorry, sorry, on the sorry, screen. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, That's Nick. Nick controls that. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Um, but anyway, so my, my initial thought, like, after I found out that he got divorced wasn't like, oh... <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't here's my chance or whatever it was more just like well I can now I can talk to him freely and because he was one of my closest friends but I wasn't as close with him as as I was with my other friends um because my other friends were single and so it was like a lot easier and so I'm like well now we can like start talking more and whatever um and right that's how it started out I mean, like okay separate I don't know when the divorce became official but separated spring like april like 2021 and then we started talking like february 2022 if i was the ex-wife i would be a little suspicious i would too i'm not gonna lie yeah. the ex-wife like she decided to leave him why why would oh, she care my sweet so my child i think i think she would be more uh, suspicious right, that, move that you I know exactly why they divorced um, we're still not done I, I, don't, I don't understand like, like you don't understand the even, problem with another woman cl- being that involved in someone else's relationship like you know no, was, every uh, detail you're talking like after the divorce why would she care after the divorce i mean Before i still the divorce, would. i, I was know. married to that person yeah. at the same <laughs> time but so. she doesn't care hold like on, she just left him donated 99 dollars she wrecked her home then got alpha widowed that's not what happened you were kind of talking to married man. Just saying. All right. What? What? Uh, what okay. Kim, what, what do you mean? That, it literally was what happened. You were talking and had feelings for a man who was married. No. You, you, guys, you, you guys don't the, like. You, the words came out of your mouth. You said. Now you said, "Well, okay, I boundaries. I took a step back." But yeah, you did, we had you boundaries. Were, you had feelings for a guy who was married, and you had a. But no, I'm, I'm really proud of, like, I set, like, really good boundaries because I knew that, like, at one point, I didn't, before I knew he was married, I had feelings for him. So I'm not going to do anything where, like, like I start having feelings for him. And as soon as okay. I started having feelings, I took a step back. So, like, the whole time, I didn't even, like, hug him um, until, like... That's, after they that's, got divorced. That's, that's considerate of you. That's. Uh, like, <laughs> like, seri- like, I mean, we would be hanging out with, because, like, I hug my friends, you know, like, like you hello, goodbye, friends? whatever. The, hung- the friends. I give, I give my friends hugs, and we would, um, we would be hanging out in a group. I don't know what you guys are laughing about, but we'd be hanging out in a group, and, um, like, we'd go fishing. Was it the vicarious oftentimes. hug? Like, you fishing. were hugging your friends, but you were really wishing 
it you was like when we say goodbye no, one second too no, long no it's like when we say goodbye it's like hey it's been nice hanging out whatever goodbye a hug like i don't know why that's weird and okay and then i would just right. like skip him you'd skip the be- hug. I, like out of yeah because he's he's married i'm not gonna be hugging a married man but i hugged my other friends because they were like single are they but also you'll married talk to him on the phone for hours no, no, that was after the divorce. I'm sorry, but if I was the wife, and I found out... What would you do? Tell us what you would do. <laughs> but why would she care? She divorced him. Like, she doesn't care. So, let's move on here, but uh, thank you, Sophia, for being open and sharing, sharing that with I us. I regret it. I'm never coming back again. <laughs> no, it, was, it was good. It was good. It was a... I'm kidding, I'm kidding. 